Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to EVE Online and welcome to CC, the test server for EVE Online. This is obviously CC since I'm flying a Nyx, a ship I'm not really skilled or equipped for on TQ. Uh, but CCP gave out some super capitals and gave uh, some uh, skill uh, injectors and stuff like that. So the test should start pretty shortly. This is going to be a test that's fully focused on uh, carriers mostly and on capitals doomsdays and, and things like that um, so i decided to join here quickly feed the nicks uh, one thing to keep in mind as you'll see me uh, try to uh, get my head around all of these new mechanics i'm not uh, a super or a cap uh, a carrier pilot and so i don't have a lot of experience with it but i think it could be good to just experience this for the first time um, i did undock in the nicks um, before i realized that i made several mistakes And I'm guessing that I should uh, warp to the gate at this point. Um, so uh, a first big mistake you can see it right here, the new fighter base in the inventory window. And you can see, for instance, that my uh, my launch tubes are not entirely filled. So I thought it would always be five fighters uh, in every tube, but that's not the case. And so obviously that uh, is going to hamper uh, my ability to damage a little bit, but it will also allow me to quickly switch out to all of these different uh, types of fighters. So that could be interesting. Um, you can also see that there's quite a few Titans on the field. Uh, and I'm, I'm not the only one in, in, uh, in a capital ship. Um, so it's it's going to be pretty damn interesting. I'm also in like a, a non-tanked super capital. I just do, uh, chose a lot of damage and things like that. We'll see how it works out. That is not really uh, the, uh, the the main uh, objective here to, to get like a super feat or to show anything close to that. Uh, I'm going to try to orbit this one at a thousand so that I can jump through whenever I need to. Um, and one, one big thing, of course, you can see here that I, I put up smart bombs just in case uh, I get attacked. Maybe it'll help. Um, but you don't see my fighters anywhere. And that is actually on a different control here. Click to toggle between modules and fighters. Uh, now, there is a way to uh, detach the, the HUD. Maybe if I click and drag, I can try that. Oh, yeah. All right. That actually worked. That's not bad. We're gonna go like that, I guess. And then we can just drag this baby. Mm, yeah, right here. Sounds sounds like a plan. Um, and I, I've never used these, so I don't really know how everything works. From, from what I've seen so far, the idea is basically to launch these fighters. You can launch them by right-clicking or you can launch everything at the same time. And uh, then you have to target something and then you can start to micromanage them. The preferred view is going to be the tactical view with the new uh, tactical overlay, which looks absolutely amazing with the curved, um, the curved lines that indicate the actual distance you are from a ship that's not on the same uh, horizon as you. That, that is really pretty damn cool. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just see how everything goes hi welcome all to this small test we will start soon for now please form up in fd obviously at the gate right here uh, 327 in local uh, 330 uh, so it is going up but we're not at like the 5 600 uh, that we saw in the previous test just yet maybe it is because of the uh, uh, requested focus on uh, supers and, and carriers of course now over here we do have something pretty interesting uh, a group of faxes coming in that that is pretty cool and a lot of them are in my fleet so that's really nice uh, we'll see how that works out as well uh, these are huge capital ships as well compared to uh, to like uh, the carriers uh, so yeah looks looks pretty good but again this is really not something that's actually accessible to me on TQ and so I can't really um, give you guys an, a really a, a a professional uh, idea of, of how all of this works out, so all of this compares. I'm just here to join the test to give you the first look and uh, I try to share that with you guys. Uh, one thing that you will have noticed by now is I disabled the sound. Uh, there were several threats uh, surrounding the big fights in the war that said that disabling the sound actually makes a really big difference when it comes to performance. And so I'm actually looking for some stability here and I'm testing this out. Um, to see uh, yeah, if, if it is a noticeable difference or anything like that. Of course, 
this is the first time that we're really in such a capital and super capital focused uh, uh, fleet. So it's going to be interesting, I think, when everybody deploys their fighters and uh, that could really hammer the, the servers, but we'll see how that works out. Uh, the preferred fits are carriers, super carriers like uh, my Nix are also considered carriers uh, and I sub caps with smart bombs. So I did a little bit of both. I also grabbed some smart bombs. This is pretty cool too, right? You can see the range of your modules uh, right now with the official, um, with, with the, the red circle, I mean with the offensive ones uh, whenever you hover over them. Uh, that's a very nice addition here to the tactical overlay. This feels a lot less uh, overwhelming and cluttery than the one we have on TQ now. And this is actually something that I may use uh, standard. In the meantime, the fleets are forming. We are at 172 of 364, still behind a little bit in numbers. Uh, but we'll see if we can make... Well, actually, if I look at the Titans, uh, well, we may be at a slight advantage when it comes to that. It's going to be pretty damn interesting. If you have any questions or problems, we can, of course, go to the Most Questions tab. And I think for a lot of people, this will actually be the very first experience. Uh, now, if, you know, they do a mass test like this uh, in the future and you want in on this, this is maybe something that I should mention. Um, you want in on, on a capital ship like that, but you, you don't have the skills for it. Uh, keep one thing in mind, something like a Thanatos or, or a regular carrier, you can just buy that straight off the market. And CCP actually seeds um, skill injectors uh, as well. So you can actually get the necessary skill points to get into these. So uh, CCP does everything they can to make these tests accessible to anyone that wants to get in on them. Um, you do have like uh, different skills uh, necessary for these fighters. Maybe I can show that through the... Uh, through the uh, inventory here. So the requirements, heavy fighter level one, these are a new skill. Um, and so I had to quickly train and inject for those, but that was really not a very big deal. In the meantime, someone is actually transferring cap to me. So obviously there is some fleet stuff going on that I'm not even really aware of, uh, but we'll see, right? I'm, I'm here to do damage and to, uh, to give it all a good test. Uh, and yeah, from the tactical one, of course, it's not an attached camera. So can I like double click myself? Right. Whoa. Yet another Titan that comes in. How close am I to the gate? 2700, I'm actually not in range. Let's press approach for a moment. And maybe for now, let's go in this view. Right, I've actually dove below everything. Get ready for the first jump in um, 30 seconds. So we'll approach that gate and local 370. Okay, so it's definitely fewer than before, but it's gonna be pretty interesting. I feel slightly more confident as well doing this in the orbit camera. So we'll see if that works out. Three, all right, should be getting in range just in time here. Two, one, and jump, let's press it. So I'm taking the gate in a super capital that is like twice the size of the gate, but all right. And here we go. I jump through. Oh, tactical overlay. Uh, I actually do think that that could be because I'm I'm in a, in a carrier or a super carrier um, that this just automatically shows. Yeah. So. Oh no, now it's gone. So a part of the tactical overlay actually just went online because I, I presume because I'm in a carrier. You do want to do this uh, from this view, to be honest. So here we go. Everyone is coming in. That is pretty damn cool. And I think the next part was to um, align to a citadel beacon. Align. I hope I didn't press warp. Let's press stop just to be safe and align to. All right. Go back in close distance. Um, again, hide all brackets just for the performance, just to make sure that this is doing all right. And here I am, guys, in a Nix. And despite the fact that I'm in a super carrier, I still feel like one of the small <laughs> guys on the field here with all these titans that left their doomsdays ready uh, to, uh, to teach us a lesson. But uh, it's, it's pretty damn cool. And for now, as I just entered tactical, the camera is... Uh, ready. All right. I, I think the next phase was actually also to uh, it, 
uh, launch fighters and things like that. So we'll see how we can do that. Launch, unload from launch tube, add heavy fighters to overview. Okay. You know, maybe I... Mm, nah, we'll, we'll first see if I can just notice something like that. We may try to... Uh, to reactivate the the overview if we have to the brackets as another carrier just decloaks right under uh carrier uh, titan decloaks right underneath me so yeah you can see that this is like a dream super <laughs> capital fleet i think if you can deploy something like that that would be pretty cool yet another tanatos there and cloak and wait a moment a uh, performance like this right with the disabled um brackets and no audio that's i uh, feels like it's pretty strong in in this camera here's modes here so far 40 up to towards 60 uh, frames per second i'm pretty happy with that especially if i go really close i actually do better that's yeah that's quite interesting i could also disable this and i think i'll add even more Uh, you know what? We may just run like this for just a little bit. Um, well, actually... Strange. That, that almost felt like it was a little bit of a hit uh, on the performance uh, when I went to the orbit camera. But okay, may just have been me. We'll see. When the fight starts, uh, I'll, I'll try to start it like this, I think. That's, you know, we could just select. All right, launch and scoop fighter squadrons as often as possible for the next few minutes. So I've never done this before, but with this you can do launch all fighters. And so they're being launched. They should be in space now. Um, you, you can see some over here, but they're probably not mine. So I will quickly stop hiding all brackets. This could be painful for a moment. Uh, well, no, it's, it's not that painful because I'm not actually seeing them. So I have to like add heavy fighters to the overview. And here are dragonflies. All right, so that looks like this, honestly. Uh, yeah, the performance is pretty bad. So let's rehide all the brackets um, and then recall all fighters. Let's do that. These are all now returning. You can see that zero meters a second. Now they're actively flying back towards me. I'm not sure if it's easy to spot any of that, but you can see them docking now. And they are refueling. These guys are ready already. Right now they're refueling and they are ready. Okay, let's uh, just really zoom in. Close by. Let's try launch squadron to space. No, and can I select these guys or something? Or look at i can do look at so here they are all right that that is pretty cool so here are <laughs> my uh, my heavy um, my heavy fighters five healthy heavy fighters and uh, they just fly around here and so we can recall to launch tubes and they'll be returning landing you don't have a visual view of of the landing there um, but that worked and here with brackets disabled okay so far i mean performance is obviously taking a pretty big dive especially if, if i zoom out for some reason so zoomed in <laughs> actually seems to be working better let's launch these squadrons as well take a quick look if we can also do a look at them yep there they are so this these are of course the the changed mechanics uh, where now these fighter drones basically become squadrons you can give them actively you can actively give these guys orders um, and uh, ooh, launch bombs not sure if that's going to work these are supposed to be aoe type of guys um, but for now we're trying to do recall to launch tube some launches and some recalls for the test of course so here we go it, it looks pretty cool in my opinion and i'm back in the mix here if you experience bugs, report anything. Honestly, this feels quite okay to me so far. Um, let me, let's just try a final one here. Launch everything. So that gives me rail guns, beams, blasters. I've got some micro missiles, some micro missile swarms. 
Yeah, then we've got some shields here, some uh, E-War, the micro jump drive, which is something uh, quite different that you do need tactical overlay for, uh, which I may try to show you guys later, but honestly, there's already a great video this showing that, which I actually looked uh, up at first just to try and get an idea. Can I select this? No, but you can sort of see them flying around there just a little bit. Here they are. So that does seem to be working. And again, we can fighter base. Access your ship's fighter bay. Oh, what does that look like? All right, so there is actually a button just to get in here if I want to load different ones. And then I can reload this now. They're returning. Now they're landing, then they're refueling, which can take a little bit of time. Oh, and now you can actually see, ooh, that's cool. That's cool, look at that. There's actually a visual representation. Uh, of them returning there that is really nice i must have double clicked something let's head back in the general direction of the sun align whoops so yeah performance pretty heavy 380 almost in local our fleet is at almost 200 Ooh, fleet w actually is uh doing quite nicely Let's launch another squadron here, just to test it out once again. Keep spamming those fighters. All right, you know what? We're going to do launching individual ones. Launch. 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 So now we're obviously hammering the server, but this feels quite okay and quite responsive. And then I can press recall on everything. Let's see, do I get a visual this time? Whoops, I actually glitched a little bit here. Just a little bit of popping. We're not getting the blue lines as everyone is landing and refueling. But all right, we made it over here, so that's pretty cool. Thank you, I have some very interesting data. So that's nice. That is obviously some pretty good news. Recall all fighters. I've done that. Yeah, it, it does hang a little bit here and there uh, but honestly i don't think you'll come across the situation very often where around 300 carriers um, are constantly ejecting and recalling uh, fighter squadrons the way we are now so from that perspective looks pretty promising no smart bombing so obviously i'll try to avoid that indeed for now while probably some people are doing it. Um, I'm guessing most are recalled by now and performance, yeah, we obviously did dip quite a bit below 40 frames per second, uh, but this still feels quite all right. Maybe it's time to move into tactical now, just to experience that one. Yeah, the switch here doesn't really like that. We dip a little bit lower again. Call all your fighters, that is done, everyone is ready, although not at full strength, but that's my own mistake, I didn't do all the research I should have before actually fitting this Nyx, and unfortunately, of course, after I unducked, that was it, I couldn't dock back in the Nyx, but alright, at least I get to fly it, that's pretty cool. Now we get someone warping off over there. People needing capacitor, all right. And we even have a Revenant. Ooh, CCP Fuzzy in a Revenant is here. <laughs> oh my God, that could be pretty cool. That could be pretty cool. Local reaching 400 now. So I think those are pretty good numbers. Now warp to one of those Citadel Beacons, which should be on your overview. Um, did I select it? No, so you can do distance then warp. Let's let's do a warp within 20 just so that we don't end up somewhere in like a major ball Off we go Some carriers will need some more time if they're not aligned, but I can go over there and that should be for an Excel um, There we go. I think we finally left the grid there pretty late at that um, little hiccup in performance but that's quite all right. And off we go. Is 
in pretty cool pretty big ship here so so far honestly yeah this is pretty interesting of course i would have to maybe test it out a little bit maybe in something that i can actually see myself flying on tq in like a thanatos see how it performs against rats or something like that you can shoot at the citadel if you want but please do not shoot anything else if you have no appropriate weapons just wait there and enjoy the visuals all right i'm not going to uh, bother the citadel too much don't want to get doomsday in response doomsday in response <laughs> meantime we've got a ragnarok that i'm presumably passing and here we go we are landing oh and that's the tethering um, i think but because i'm at 20 i don't think someone in an absolution and he's maybe getting repped or something that is pretty cool so here we go more people landing and an excel a keep star let me see here is this maybe we'll take a quick look at this one from ccp the lights hmm this looks a lot less cluttered and overwhelming maybe it is because we're still far on from this perspective though that's a lot of lights going up and down this side here and can I disable the look at yeah, I needed to re-click it all right and normally being in tactical what I can do is yeah detach myself zoom all the way out and watch as more and more <laughs> capitals and super capitals are actually landing here performance taking a bit of a dip though that is true oh 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 one thing stargate point dots aligned to i think that was our next step and i do wonder maybe with this i'll be able to spot myself a bit more easily yeah, now you can actually find yourself pretty easily there you go that again yeah performance it's pretty tough of course we did grow to 410 people now so that's quite a few let's zoom out here take a little bit of a, a landing look or yeah a lot of these titans are actually uh firing i think and maybe they've got like some e-war coming out that's definitely an avatar shooting its lasers at the excel citadel no sound sorry about that but i want to try and and get a bit more performance out of this because this this is going to be pretty tough on both server and client but at least the visuals are pretty cool and i'm actually guessing um you saw several beacons on the overview, two or three. Uh, I think they're all around the same citadel. That is pretty cool. Just gives you an idea uh, of how big this is. They have been able to put multiple waypoints uh, close to the citadel uh, where whole super capital fleets can warp in and we're nowhere close to each other. These guys are actually at 76 kilometers from me. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Of course this does become a pretty big ball of um, of metal and chips like this and performance keeps dipping so that's going down to 18 frames per second now uh, let's maybe try to zoom out even more but you can also see some stuff going on uh, at the citadel let's see if i can maybe spot something on that one being this far away you can actually get a decent view like this so that is pretty cool and then the question is can i slowly zoom in on the citadel itself and somehow spot a weapon hard point or something like that not really from here that's where they're firing at 
single point. Unfortunately, it would be cool if that's even more spread out on the visuals. But I thought that there was like an offensive beam that you could see. Yeah, right here, but I'm not really seeing anything that resembles a weapon battery or anything like that. So let's try to get back a little bit on my fleet and wait for the next order given by CCP. Next instructions for this mass test. And completely zoomed out, honestly, you do get a nice overview of the whole battle <laughs> of how massive the keep star is. Keep in mind here, uh, these are the titans, the biggest ships in EVE Online. So these are absolutely huge. And uh, that does give you a pretty nice perspective. Last I checked the text, which, uh, okay. Let's quickly target this one as well, just to see uh, what kind of uh, damage they're doing. Oh my god, that's actually quite a bit of damage. They're chewing through the armor already. That's strange. I guess the reinforce cycles aren't in just yet. So they keep they yeah, they the the Titans are restless. They what they're they're out for blood. <laughs> they're definitely fighting this pretty damn hard. Now here we've got a Sino coming in as well. Just look at how puny that looks. All, all of this looks compared to the Keep Star. And this is actually 430 capitals and supers that are exploding some apparently as well. Uh, that, that are actually in front of this Excel Citadel. Oh my god. When this gets deployed on TQ it's going to be pretty crazy when they see the first one uh, actually there. A lot of people on the server are probably not even really aware of any of this. And that, that is really cool. Recall your fighters and stop fighting. Let's see if they can actually obey that command. I must say, for everything that's probably happening here at the moment, being this zoomed out, having this control with the camera and still holding 22 frames per second, uh, just at the cost of basically uh, no brackets and no audio, um, I think that's not bad. This is also not on the TQ uh, with, with the new hardware or anything like that. So, yeah looks good to me i think the next step was going to be um which should also oh dear that was maybe a mistake Oof. i accidentally clicked on mining on another overview so it did manage that i mean the, the performance hit was pretty bad but the uh the client held to my surprise so what i actually wanted to do as some more ships explode here I want to go for distance, select the gate so that I can uh, quickly warp over there when the command is given. That does still happen. Align stargate point dots. Warp plus jump to point dot and set up the gate camp. Exactly, that's what I thought was going to happen. So I should be aligned. Let's get out of here as more <laughs> capitals and supers are exploding all around us. Am I refocused on myself? Yes, I am, although not really moving visually. So that's, yeah, definitely weird. Should I switch camera for a moment? Because I think I'm there, but come on, try it again. I must have been bumped out of a line or something. That's okay, just try and, and work me out. Um, but visually here, I'm definitely stuck. So let's get in on this one then maybe. Uh, what can I also do? Press C. No. All right, I'm actually warping. Okay, 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 we are out. Uh, I actually thought that uh, the portal gate was in a different direction. And so that's what uh, scared the crap out of me for a moment there. But we survived this. That's pretty good. 430 still in local. We are switching back to the tactical camera for the next part as well. And set up the gate camp. Sounds like it's going to be interesting. Yeah, playing without sound when you're completely used to playing with sound is a little bit strange, but 
um, so far this this looks pretty impressively good for the performance so that's that's an incredible tip you know if you are in one of those really big tie-dye battles or something like that uh, then yeah disable your audio it should give your client uh, a very nice boost so we are heading towards Poitot and then next up of course what everyone will be waiting for some actual fighting um, I'm not sure how long my uh, my Nyx is going to hold there because as I've said I, I just fit it for damage with drone damage amplifiers I think that still works um, and uh, here I just fit it for support hoping that that can maybe make a difference I have no idea what I should actually do to make this like a really tank chip or anything like that I just went with something crazy that was based on a ratting fit I saw and uh, we'll see if, if it's uh, yeah doing anything so that's Poitot, <laughs> the Poitot gate with <laughs> these titans are actually going to jump through these gates. That is maybe something that with the structures uh, and then uh, the construction of Stargates that CCP could also make Stargates way bigger than they are now. Uh, to scale for stuff like uh, titans, that could be very cool too. So Poitot, yes, no. Click jump. Am I going to get a session timer already? Nope, nope, it's actually doing it. All right. So off we go. Here we are. We actually also have a little bit of a tactical overlay and I'm not sure what's happening, but were those smart bombs and things being attacked already? It looks like a Dominix is being attacked. What am I going to do on this one? Should I just try to get out a little bit or stay close to a, like a fax machine from from our fleet that is something i could try as well apostle that looks like this do we have any faxes close by yep right here i'm actually going to anchor up try to anchor up at 5000 kilometers around that uh leaf right here and now it's all about waiting for the other fleet to come in. Let's see if there's maybe... That's the latest one. No like primary targets just yet. Quite a few smart bombs going off though. So I don't want to lose my fighters right at, at the first part of the fight. I'll just choose. Here's an Erebus. That's pretty big. Another Leviathan as well. Then we do have an enemy Apostle. Let's, let's target uh, this guy and, and see... If he's being attacked, then I may try to join in. For the first few minutes, Importo, do not use any Doomsday tanks. Okay, uh, let's maybe also zoom out just a little bit. Because, yeah, with all the smart bombs, though, this is not going to be very good for performance. I may just want to do this one <laughs> from very far away uh, at, in this view, I think. Maybe if, if I do get... Ooh, I'm actually... Yeah, but that's probably going to just be some smart bombing action. That I shouldn't worry about too much, I think. But this is quite a lot of smart bombs for uh, fighters and things like that to have to work in. Maybe I should just... Uh, I can can I find myself here? Holy crap! Yeah, this is this is becoming quite a smart bomb mess. <laughs> this is definitely becoming quite a smart bomb mess here, as I'm yeah slowly flying over there, and I think it was him. So we're going to give that order again. He is on the outside of of the fleet and the smart bomb, so that could actually be a pretty good idea. Fleetex warp to point out and hold. Caps can also wait here. All right, let's uh, quickly activate this, 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 just to be ready. And he's taking some damage, but that also mainly looks like uh, smart bomb damage. CCP uh, from CCP Alliance in a nightmare. I don't think we're going to actually attack that one right away. We'll just wait for... He's being crushed, actually. 
<laughs> in the nightmare. Oh, is he using death hacks or something like that? <laughs> He's been destroyed. Goodbye, CCP in the nightmare. The first few minutes, no doomsdays. It would be cool if I could survive to see that, but uh, no guarantees on that front, I'm afraid. And then we'll just we'll just actually give this a little bit of time. I'll be all right in five. All right, get ready. Uh, I'll be looking for something like maybe a carrier um, at first to uh, to target something uh, that's just smaller than me and that may actually uh, have some some whew, stuff is already exploding pretty uh, hard though. Um, that may be a good target for for my fighter. Otherwise, we may just go after that apostle. Who is already at 18 kilometers, though I'd like to see something a little bit more nearby. Alright, jump to point dot and fight. Let's see what happens next. For just a moment, <laughs> some people are already warping off. And here is Thanatos uh, at 11 kilometers. That's red to me, so that's pretty good. Then we also have a hell here. I'll target him. Um, oh my god, what the hell is that? Let's launch all... Fighters, these should be out in a moment. Yeah, Taida kicked in though, so 68%. Let's keep that in mind a little bit as well as my fighters are deploying. And now I can actually tell these normally to use these weapons on that Thanatos. Let's just try clicking that and see if they actually do anything. So that, that should actually start to, uh, we'll target, well, not an Erebus, but an Archon is good. A Cerberus could be interesting too, to give it a try. Uh, and a Chimera. All right, let's just take some targets here. And then let's see if we can get these guys. Yeah, now this is actually starting to do something from the looks of it. Uh, the smart bombs are pretty crazy though, as some things are dying. I'm also going to just press anything else that I can, <laughs> just because I can. I have no actual idea if, if anything is really happening, but uh, if it does, we should see some damage notifications. Tie-dye though at 21%, pretty tough, 340 in local, um, fighting it out with the new mechanics. So we'll see how that works out. All right, that's Apparently first cycle, yeah, here are the damage uh, notifications. All right, that's pretty cool. Ooh, message not found. Okay, okay, Th that's probably from uh, these bomb launchers. Uh, so that's probably just not enabled yet. But I'll, I'll just keep going like this. We'll see, uh, maybe I'll add a target painter, just because I can, why the hell not? And uh, let's see if that Thanatos actually dies. Uh, but of course, this is now in super slow motion with a lot of smart bomb action. Feel free to use smart bombs, bombs and bubbles now. Uh, I'll wait. If I get attacked, uh, I'm almost outside of the battle here. If I do get attacked, I should see myself go down pretty quickly. Then I'll just try to activate my smart bombs uh, as a defensive measure. Last line of defense. We'll see if it works out. Um, but yeah, I can, I can zoom out a little bit more here frames per second uh, that's actually pretty decent uh, now this chimera apparently has been targeted a bit as well so we can start refiring at them and they oh here you can also see that they did take a little bit of damage in the meantime so that's of course all the smart bombing that's happening luckily i'm just gonna keep burning them out and after that i'm gonna try and unload a different set and we'll see if all of that works so now you guys are going to go on this guy let's see if i can activate this if any of this happens, just um, maybe also grab these. I, I don't feel confident to give you the test of the micro jump drive at this point, um, just because I've never really used it. But it's, it's a, tactically a very strong uh, addition there as well. So let's hope that they can. Come on, just keep clicking this until they finally start cycling their stuff. Uh, we are taking quite a bit of damage though, you can see <laughs> the smart bombs going off everywhere, that is pretty crazy. Uh, a few damage notifications at least, so I think that they are, have started cycling. Um, we can probably disable this after, afterwards, they don't, don't need to keep micro driving. That makes them a lot bigger and a lot more susceptible to all of the uh, smart bombs. As, yeah, it just keeps going here now. Um, I think 
it's it's very difficult to see of course in this keep in mind this is a mass test this is all about the performance of the server and the client uh, this is not really about the details of the mechanics uh, but what actually happens is of course that your fighters have to travel at a set speed towards their target and only then start to engage but you can see 2200 some of these hits are pretty pretty good so i'm pretty happy with that i almost after this one dies let's let's just start targeting some more stuff just because we can Oop. and maybe also a mccarriel that could be interesting as a next target let's see if we can actually grab that one um, in the meantime they are slowly dying though so the smart bombing has its effects i'm not though so that's that's okay that's pretty cool this fight's tie-dye is now at 60 percent well, that's that's all right that's all right so the shield stuff have evasive maneuvering it's actually called has a bit of a cooldown uh, because they are down so badly i'll try to to get them back up when i can to reactivate that when i can but i do fully expect that we'll we'll lose a few of these in the meantime that argon is slowly going down we are trying to do some damage to it though so that is good once it goes through shields it should be pretty quick let's press evasive maneuvering here again not sure if tackle's gonna work we'll we'll give it a try right so i think it's the the launch bombs that's supposed to be an aoe weapon from these guys uh just doesn't work at the moment but <laughs> if you like some <laughs> smart bomb visuals then then this is obviously the must for you someone is uh counter targeting me though let's see who it is it's a hell so that could get interesting if if i go down into armor i'll activate my smart bombs hoping that i can actually do some damage to like incoming drones and things like that uh, they're still cycling so that should be on the uh, chimera feel free to use smart bombs bombs and bubbles now but no doomsdays Ooh, something pretty big just blew up though i'm not sure what happened but someone must have primary the tar a titan and that one just basically yeah that that's that's a titan down that's pretty obvious and uh yeah this is <laughs> this is the the capital and super capital fight of the future uh again i do get a message something is not working probably maybe the tackle maybe it's because i'm trying it on a carrier as well i'm not sure but 5000 hit on armor this guy is going down pretty quickly um these guys are going down very quickly as well maybe i should try to recall them in the battle it's a bit risky but i will try it who knows when i die it could be any moment now i'm gonna recall the two small ones and i'm actually actually going to try and replace them with something different let's see if i can do that they are returning now these guys are in space fighting it out against that chimera from apollo valer any targets being called that i can see here nope not immediately all right but at least that that one is being targeted so they are still returning as they're firing and that one goes down okay what would be uh, our next target obviously the small stuff the carriers are being targeted first here's a knit hogger we could i think try that one first so they're now in space um somehow recovered a little bit that was strange but we're going to send them on you we're going to burst these guys if i can let these return and see if i can actually replace them inside of this this hectic battle here um but okay this is probably a bit more active and if the performance was slightly better maybe you could do some tactical maneuvering and things like that as well uh, but in this battle i don't really think that's uh, anything that that's uh, feasible right now maybe i should try torpedo salvo dds away all right that that's going to be more interesting uh ready hmm let's quickly do can i now do unload here all right oh you can also go like this all right let's do five shadows here let's do five dromies here I'm not sure what that exactly does but now they're being loaded and uh 
doomsdays here here goes one here is another one right there multiple doomsdays being fired uh, aoe beams and all of that good stuff so stuff is bound to be dying pretty hard at the moment let's see if i can take the draw the shadows again come on load these cannot load shadows oh sh cannot support that all right we'll try the equate then oh who are all right but I feel like I can actually do this while my guys are now attacking a next target. So that is pretty cool. I can actually take the Amethyst. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, because I can't. All right. So there is a limit. Um, dragonflies. Yes, that'll work. That should get up to five. Yep, he's loading five of them. Tida is slowly going down now. Local 363. Uh, a lot of doomsdays fired, but somehow I'm still alive. That's pretty cool. And that means now we can launch drones, launch uh, squadrons, not drones, but squadrons. And once these guys are out, oh, these guys are actually whip. Uh, so no, I actually want them on this one. And let's see if we can actually do something against that material. as more stuff keeps dying. Um, I'll be honest, I've got no idea what exactly is going on, who is winning or who is losing, but the performance of this is is incredible. This, this is something that is pretty damn cool in my book. Uh, one thing that I maybe, oh, all right, we can maybe load something else, like some shadows, who knows? Now we can, yeah, awesome. Awesome. So they were destroyed, but we can come out with, with some more fighters. So that is pretty cool. Kill report available. Not sure what it is that just died, but okay. As long as it works, it works. We're just going to keep firing at whatever we can. We're actually going to launch the squadron and see if we can now start hitting that guy as well. So let's try that again. Go like that. Maybe activate the afterburner as well for a little bit. True sacrifice, not sure what any of those do, uh, but we'll see later on. Once they start firing, come on, accept that command, go after them a carrier. He's at 38 kilometers though, so I may want to activate this as well. Keep going after the material. I'm still alive somehow, apparently, although I don't really see myself yep here i am <laughs> slowly edging away from the center of the battle which i think is is the best choice at this point um those guys are trying to activate their modules can you do the same all right he's trying finally as well while my final squadron here the anteus somehow still doing really well that's almost surprising all right, let's target some more stuff here. Oh, I'm actually being neutered at this point. Cap drained. Well, all right. I don't mind. We've actually been going on for 50 minutes now. But this battle has been going on for, what, 15, 20 minutes? And we're still doing all right. That's pretty surprising to me. Warp Scrambler attempt. Yeah, here the first hit on Ogara, 500, that was not so bad. If on top of that he's also uh, whipped, then then this could really help out. I think it's this one. Let's try heavy rocket salvo. Does that work? We'll see. Otherwise, we'll, we'll get maybe the, the message here again. But okay, here we keep going, keep going. Let's hope that the shadows can cycle as well, although they've taken some smart bomb damage already. We'll see. We will see. But this is pretty damn cool. Um, can I zoom out enough to show you? No, not really. Uh, the range of targeting on, on the Nyx here was 5,750 kilometers. So really very, very far. Oh, and we lost another one. That means we can uh, probably put in some Anteus next. <laughs> I can keep going. This is, this is really cool, actually. Uh, and this seems to be working really well. I am impressed. So we keep hitting stuff as well, including big hits, 4,600 on Ogara. So let's launch the squadron here. And uh, yeah, we're trying to take out a battleship. Apparently we can. He's out, uh, but he's going to be down and out pretty soon. So we're going to send him on him right here. And I'm actually being damaged by a CCP guy next. 
So we're just going to keep clicking this until it enables that. As a board, ooh, someone was self-destructing, but yeah, Ogara, your material is gonna go down to three of my squadrons. Kill report available. Not sure exactly what was killed there, but it's pretty cool. There he goes. That's actually a battleship down. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. You are definitely no longer just a pilot. You are a, a fleet commander, a, a carrier commander doing his thing. Let's see if we can uh, target the next one here. Maybe also activate the uh, these modules if I can. Just take the commands. Uh, Tide is, is gone as well. So that's pretty good news. Local 353. Not sure exactly what's happening, but this is a pretty uh, hectic battle at the moment. Oh, here's another doomsday. Let's see if he can actually blow somebody up. Uh, not enough, apparently. I'm sure if someone actually doomsdays me that I'm completely screwed, but all right. Just keep going now, guys. You can do it. Get in range of that one. And yeah, it actually worked. Heavy rocket salvo. And that battleship was blown away. So we've got more supers. Uh, we do have another Chimera close by, so we'll take him. In the meantime, here is... Yeah, I'm also definitely not paying that much attention uh, on the battlefield itself. But it is super, super hectic at the moment, of course. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that... Um, um, yeah, in a less hectic battle, I think you'll have more time of, of managing a oh, win. Here comes <laughs> one of those doomsday beams right across the screen here. And uh, it's pretty cool. Not sure if he's actually hitting anything, but it is pretty damn cool. And the fight keeps going. This this is this is cool. I'm I'm surprised that I'm I feel like this is actually okay. Sure, it's 13 frames per second. There is some tie-dye as well, but considering as a first mass test in this extreme situation uh, the fact that i can just take this top view of the entire battle or if i want i can also of course zoom out a little bit and try to take a little bit of a different view try and center myself again but this this works this is actually responsive and, and i feel like i can still manage it this feels like a comfortable place to manage a carrier or a super carrier from from this view so I would say, yeah, this is looking pretty good. I wonder when I'll finally be targeted. Um, because I am starting to be surrounded quite heavily by a lot of probably enemies. Not sure if these are actually enemies. So we'll, we'll hold off on the smart bombs for now. It is also possible that so many of these, these squadrons are actually getting destroyed that um, yeah, that they are having a very hard time chewing through the enemy ships at the moment because of all the smart bombing. But it, it works. Uh, I know now from this visual that my squadrons are engaging my target. The one thing that I would like is to maybe see uh, with an, a number or something like that the, the squadrons that are engaging uh, a specific target. That's one thing that I am missing. But from the looks of it, it is working. Thank you all for helping with this mass test. Right, I'm amazed that this actually <laughs> when that I survived this long. That's not usual. Again, a beautiful doomsday right there the idea i think to have this this lance go through the enemies as much as you can so you can destroy them and oh you actually have to activate this every time to fire off just one volley of these uh, heavy rocket salvos that's pretty interesting as well and yep yeah, there you go the official part of this test is over but feel free to continue to fight now i'm not planning to just keep going endlessly here uh, because that could actually be pretty bad i'm only being drained uh, do i want to save the nicks honestly i also received an erebus and i think i can fly it so maybe for the next one um it's okay if i lose this nix uh, oh here we go that actually seems to be like a targeted doomsday let's quickly can I target him? 
maybe it's, it's because he's gone. Yeah, I presume he's gone. You just don't actually have a good explosion visual. Um, here we do have an explosion visual though. That's pretty cool. And all I've really taken so far here is uh, yeah, a little bit of shield damage from the smart bombs, but nothing too drastic. Um, so, okay, honestly, I'm ready to, to call it for this, this mass test because uh, going for about an hour uh, is, is pretty heavy. Uh, for the final... Oh, I'm actually also losing these guys uh, as we get another really tit titanic explosion from a titan exploding. Pretty damn cool. Uh, what I'll try to do, uh, it, it may just uh, completely kill everything, but if that happens, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video so far. But I'm actually going to try and take a view of my uh, fighters and, and see if we can spot anything right here. Uh, let's press, let's risk it, look at, here we go. Oh, actually just, <laughs> just focused on them. All right, so that actually works quite nicely as well. I can also do like, uh, while well, I'm, I'm losing more and more, uh, as more doomsdays are being fired off, we're down to 300 people. So this is slowly winding down. Uh, I'd have to get into the orbit camera to do what I wanted to do to see if we could get like a really a nice cinematic shot. But actually, I don't feel like I need to risk it. Uh, that's another doomsday you're seeing right here, I think like a close range AOE one. Now I'm actually taking some, yeah, I'm actually starting to take some fire here. Um, Turfings, Gunniers, yeah, they're, they're trying to get me. I think I've been targeted. That's, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so here we go. I'm being neutered and um, no doomsday. I can actually zoom in in the battle. Amazing. Yeah, it's it's doing pretty well. At this point, I feel a little bit more, more comfortable since I'm willing to, to take a crash on this. But I can, I can do this. You can see stuff exploding as well as uh, my guys keep trying to hit. Do I have anything less left here? Let's try loading these and the Einhergies here as well. We can, we can still try to keep going. I'm surprised by this, honestly. Uh, 11 frames per second, though. That's not a lot as the doomsdays keep flying around me like crazy. Let's launch these drones. And we're obviously not going to break these targets anymore. Is there anything smaller that is still on the field? Uh, a Moros. It is smaller, but still pretty big. Anything like a battleship? No. So I, I do really think that this is pretty much it. But I could still... Well, here we go. We get a Stratios. We could try sending these guys on the Stratios if I can still target it. So here we go. Yep, there's the Stratios. He's taken some damage already. We're going to see if we can add just a touch of it. Maybe add this as well. We will see. Someone has already started to fire. Uh, his name is Vel11. Ouch. That, that's not a lot though. That is not a lot of damage on a cruiser here. Just 11 damage. And the other one on Vel11. On Vel and anything else. Oh, 353. That's not bad. That's not bad. Micro... Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Can I also use this heavy rocket salvo? Let's let's try it. It's probably not going to really do anything, uh, but it seems to be working as I'm also taking yeah, a bit more damage now. They're, they're starting to target me, but maybe we can still do a little bit against that Stradios here. Two seventy six. This is slowly winding down, so the Tyra is completely gone. Pretty soon I'll, I'll be gone as well, I think. Don't ask me who won. I couldn't tell you, but uh, in, my, in my book right now, from this experience, very successful mass test, pretty damn cool. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, this is a very damaged small fighter uh, drone squadron. So you could make this far more powerful if you take like a full load of these. Um, that's actually feels like it could be pretty damn dangerous for subcaps because uh, that's a lot of damage from a very damaged squad that I'm seeing here. That's actually pretty crazy. And he either escaped or blew up. I'm not entirely sure as I'm, I'm finally starting to take some, uh, some, some real shield damage at this point. So we will slowly go down. Can I see anything? Yeah, I'm just slowly edging away out of the battle. Ooh, look at that. The shield, shield effects 
are actually happening here as well. So here is my Nyx now. There are the shield. Oh my, this is beautiful and working. Awesome, incredible. All right, let's still try to send these guys on, on that Chimera if we can. And here are the incoming uh, damage. I think in a less hectic battle, you could really take some, some very nice views from all of this. So as they're going through my shields here, zero from a turfing. That's pretty pretty strange as well. But yeah, I'm just slowly edging my way away from most of them. But I'll be targeted at some point and I will see what happens. All right, that chimera is actually still going down. Let's try approaching the apostle here. Let's see if I can like turn around and what kind of a visual I'm getting from myself. Am I maybe not being hit anymore? Because I'm not seeing a lot. Uh, all right, that one blew up. That's true. Let's get started on this. And it actually looks like they left me alone. Am I right? Yes. Okay, that means I will try to finish off with transitioning inside the battle. So I'm now transitioning to the orbit camera, uh, which worked. Yeah, all right. That worked actually really nicely. And then we are going to try risk a look at at my squadron. Oh, here it is. Here they are flying through the battle. That's pretty cool. Let's... Uh, Try a look at, at these guys. There they go. Oh my god, this is cool. This is my fighter squadron that I'm controlling, that I'm issuing orders that are now uh, yeah, flying through this battlefield. Boom, and there, one just got blown up uh, from the damage, so I'm down to four. And yeah, you can see that one of them is damaged four, so uh, at about yeah, three quarters uh, of the, the actual performance that is still left. But how cool is this? And, and this actually works with still 240 people here. I mean, I do still constantly have to like zoom in on this. That's a bit annoying. Too, ba too bad the camera doesn't stick to them very well. But just think of the incredibly cinematic footage you, get, you could get with this. Let's, uh, let's go look at these guys as well next. Yeah, there they go, just flying around the battlefield finding their targets let's see if i can spot it that should be that red beam that's a very nice little addition if it does the target should be a hell let's see if they can do it just keep going guys and is that nope still not so they're still just zooming around the battlefield come on give me a visual of the actual target that would be really cool um but that, that this worked, that the client managed to do it. And now you can you can really look at your... <laughs> this is my fighter squadron flying right next to a freaking Erebus. How cool is that? Yeah, just give me the ability to really anchor the camera on these. And, and you've got uh, some pretty crazy shots uh, that are going to come from this. Very, very nice. Look at that. <laughs> just diving in between all of these... Uh, all of these titans trying to find their targets awesome 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 all right let's see if i can maybe take a quick look at the hell itself yeah and now oh my god this just keeps getting better look at this you've got the red lines from my own squadrons that are engaging this guy do i still have something yeah i still have something in here nice um and this is this is the targets i'm counter targeted as well but yeah look at this these red or these red lines are actually representing my fighter squadrons going around you can see them hitting the shields on this target i'm 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 blown away the the looks of this and the performance of this so far crazy just crazy just incredible as i lost yet another one do i i still have a little bit of dromi left in me well, let's let's launch these guys um Let's also launch these guys. Now, let's also do a look at these. If I can. Okay, and now I'm actually going to tell them to uh, yeah, attack that hell as well. Let's see if I can just go and attack that hell as well. And let's see. There they go. So 
they got the command. Oh, that, that's too bad. Must have clicked something wrong. But now off they go into the battlefield at very high speeds. Oh my god. <laughs> this is definitely a pretty high speed. Uh, and they'll, they're already firing. Oh, I can of course reduce the speed a little bit because of the micro warp drive. So this will be reduced now. Instant reaction, pretty good. Explosions are happening. Uh, they are firing their lasers. Do you see that or not? That would be really cool, but not that I actually, yeah, you can see one laser being fired right here. So that's the visual of that. Would be cool, of course, if all of them actually fired this as well. Uh, but this this is this is getting really close to, to stuff like Star Wars <laughs> from, from, the, uh, from the movies. This is just, yeah, nuts in my book. Let's see if I can, that's a DD being fired right there. I'll just end this for you guys now with a, without the UI. Just uh, enjoy this here. I'm gonna just try and, and keep my my guys at range. As you can you can actually see them firing individually. It would be cool if maybe they fired like a little more visually. Uh, but again, that could be for the performance. But there now you can see their lasers actually firing off, and there they go flying off at a, in a towards the targets. Ah, too bad that we never really get to see the target itself that they're targeting. That seems to just stay out of range. But now you can actually see them through the wrecks, through all the ships still fighting with each other. Bullets flying all across them. Smart bombs going off. And there goes a massive DD being fired off. And they fly just above that. I can actually as yet another Titan, I think, or something is going to explode off in the background. If this doesn't look great to you, then oh my god, this looks so good to me. <laughs> this is really, really mind blowing. Anyways, I think that's that's definitely uh, all I can show you for this one for now. Uh, I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching. If you're still here and uh, I'll see you guys next time.